Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going over my little Batman rant because, let's be honest, some people are going to sit there and they're going to say, well, I don't like the old Batman movie, you know, the first one, you know, with Michael Keaton and all that. Really? That's the first Batman movie? What? Okay, alright, let's just take a step back before my brain implodes on the level of what the fuck isms and let's just break this down. The first Batman movie is more of a campy style movie, if you will. Not really all that big with a box office. It was so-called Batman and it starred Adam West. Now, for those of you who don't know, Adam West was the original Batman. It was the gray suit, yellow circle, black bat, blue mask with the itty bitty cat ears and the blue cape. This is also the same Batman that had the Boy Wonder always saying, holy cow Batman, that looks like fertilizer or holy whatever Batman. And you're just like, dude, what the hell? For some of you, this would also cover the nostalgia critics little dumbasses in distress when you saw that version of Batman and Robin, you're like, where did I come from? It, yes, there's an older style of Batman and Robin. It's around the 1960s, I think. I believe the first movie for Batman was 1969. And you'll notice that the, the video here is going to go boom, boom. It's going to be black and white with a red scale, black and white with a blue scale. Whatever. But I'm going to go this back and forth on this because I want y'all to actually feel the difference, per se. But you'll probably see it here, but you won't really feel it. It's not like I'm sitting there. <laughs> Anyway, let's just press on. First thing we're going to go over is the similarities between the two. The first thing I want to point out is in the 1969 version of Batman, the dude, in roleplay terms, he was almost a god modder because everything was in that fucking belt. Now, for those of you who watch How It Should Have Ended, and y'all seen some of the skits where they're talking about, you use that utility belt scenario for every situation. Because in 60, 1969, Batman uses that belt for every situation. I shit you not. A can about this big, two cans worth. And a little bit thicker around, like a little, ah. Okay, maybe. Yeah, about. About something like this. This size. This is WD-40, by the way. Liquid wrench. Whatever. Something this size was in his utility belt. Now, I'm, I'm not going to go into detail on how the fuck that doesn't work. Since his belt would have to be like fucking pouches on pouches on pouches. But you get the point. He can't possibly have something like that in his belt. But he did. It was shark repellent. Yes, on the off chance that he was going to be near water, he had shark repellent in his belt. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because many people know Batman having a whole assortment of shit in his utility belt. Okay, cool, fine, whatever. I'm coming started for that. But here's a problem with the whole kettle fish, the whole kitten caboodle, the whole yin and yang. In 69, his utility belt was adjusted to whatever the situation was. Okay, fine. But you said there was a 1969 movie. Yeah. The story pretty much was all the crooks got together, they made a plan to take out Batman. But to take out Batman, they needed bait. And they weren't going to just like, tie up Catwoman and go, oh, she's bait. No, because Catwoman was with them. She was actually a villain. Surprise, people. She's a villain. Hi, how you doing? Anyway, she was a villain, and she worked with the others, like Joker, Riddler, and all of them. They got together, and they planned on taking a high target, a high profile target, and they were going to use him to bait Batman. For those of you who read Hush, you get the same idea. But this target happened to be one of Gotham's elite, Bruce Wayne. I'll let that process for a minute. Interesting, yes? So they kidnapped Bruce Wayne because the way they did it was 
Catwoman, who at the time did not have an actual alias known as Selena Kyle. She had like Miss Kitka. It was always some sort of cat variant on her name. It was like Catherine something or other, or Miss Kit, Kit something, or yada yada, or it's, it's always a cat variant on her name before it actually settled on Selena Kyle. Some of you were like, oh no, it didn't. Watch the fucking movie. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Miss Kitka and Bruce were dating. The bad guys jumped the group. Bruce fought back to a point, you know, trying not to show that he's Batman. He gets caught. And, of course, he gets taken out to the docks where they're planning on just blowing him the fuck up. Here's a bomb. Tss. Well, of course, when Bruce demands the C, Miss Kitka, or whatever, Catwoman goes, yeah, 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 fine, whatever. And she goes in, fakes that she's tied up, and gets investigated, and he's like, okay, I got an idea how to do this, yeah, yeah. And he ends up getting free one way or shape or form. And he starts running around. Because he's not Batman. Because apparently he is. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm Batman, I can. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's been like years since I've actually seen it, but he ends up getting his little gray suit back on with the little cat-like ears and all that. For those of you who've seen, what was it, The Fairly Odd Parents, there's a reason why they made fun of Catman, which is also Adam West. There's a reason why Adam West is constantly having like these little scenarios. Batman, the animated series, he was the voice of the Grey Ghost, or the actor of the Grey Ghost, because his Batman was in gray and blue, as opposed to black and yellow. I digress. Fairy Odd Parents had him as Catman. Um, he is Mayor Adam West in Family uh, Family Guy. He is covered a lot, actually. Like I said, the Grey Ghost in Batman Animated Series. Moving along. As things progress, he, he gets a hold of the bomb, and he's running down the street with a bomb over his head. He is holding a bomb over his... I don't mean like a normal like suitcase bomb or some other IED for, uh, version. No, no. I, I What I'm saying is he was carrying an Acme-styled ball with a string in it. He was carrying that down the harbor, over his head. So, so, so picture this just for a minute. Just picture this for a minute. Batman with a bomb over his head, and he's holding, and he's running around on the street. Just, 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 just process that for a minute. Just process that. Kind of funny. And the reason why I got funny was because he kept running into places where there's more people, so he can't just throw up there. And for some of you who go, but wait, you said he was the great ghost, and, and when he was on the episode with Batman, he said something about, you just can't get rid of a bomb. Yes, that is what they're referencing. That is exactly what they are referencing, because in the movie, he, he ends up saying the line because he really couldn't just get rid of that damn bomb. He just couldn't do it. He tried to throw it one way, there's people in the boat. He tried to throw it another way, there's people in the house. You better have options. <laughs> so he ends up getting rid of the bomb, and of course it blows up in the water, and people are like, Oh my god, I need you die, no, no, no. Holy TikToks, Batman, are you okay? Why, yes, Robin. At the last possible moment, I did a cartwheel backflip and a quarter flip. You also used a grapple gun, shot off in an area, and I swung into the water, and the bomb blew up, and with my deflective abilities of my cape, I flew through the air and splashed down right here. Well, so I'm okay, Robin. Yes, most of his excuses were that ass nine. Gee, look, was Batman. Um, how did you get out of that Chinese water torture? Well, Robin, to keep my sanity, I recited the alphabet from A to Z and then did it in reverse. And afterwards, I went ahead and counted to about 50 because we have 50 states in our great United States of America. And after I did that, I also started recanting the state names in reverse from... Z all the way down to A. And after I got to there, it dawned on me that the water torture is not really effective once you kind of twist your neck to the side and shift your shoulders slightly. This changes the angle of the water hitting you, and it ran down the back of my, the nape of my neck, and it ran down a cloak, and it touched the floor where I was able to slip just enough to get my hands free from my gloves, which freed me from the trap. Holy unbelievable bullshit, Batman! I know, Robin. It's okay. I mean, it was literally stuff like that where you sat there and went, Dad! Dad! What is that? Batman, how'd you 
stop the bullet getting shot in your face! Well, you see, Robin, I was well aware that the Joker had a gun that ricocheted off of every material besides silk. So I decided, hmm, let me make sure my mask is not a silk. And there we go. What? The... Anyway, let's move along. Watch a few of the old style episodes. Yes, there's Bam and Piff and whatever. Just trust me on this one. You watch that, you will laugh. <laughs> there's just some stuff in there that's just so far fetched, you, you will laugh. You will laugh. And then you'll cry. But it's a very PG friendly Batman. Now, a lot of things reference this version of Batman. I've already made the obvious thing about Adam West. Um, other things that were referenced, like the Powerpuff Girls, um, Futurama, when they had superpowers for like the one episode or whatever, because the Miracle Cream, they referenced the same thing that the Powerpuff Girls referenced, which was back in the old style of Batman, 69 style Batman, no not that 69, you sick mother. Not that kind of 69, but the time frame for the 69 movie. What they referenced was the Bat Phone. You heard me right. The Powerpuff Girls got really close to it by having a playful phone that lit up its nose when it was being rung. When the, when the mirror called, it would ring the nose and, oh, let's get to it. Um, Futurama, when the nose of a clown was pushed, the mirror contacted the Great Three or whatever the fuck they were called, and Bender would have his little alert go off. Both of these referenced the old Batman, where he had the bat phone. Now, for those of you who don't know what the bat phone was, Commissioner Gordon was like the mayor in those other shows. You never saw the mayor in the old Batman movie, or show, or movie. You never saw the mayor. But you saw a lot of Commissioner Gordon. He had a nice actual office. And in his office, he had a red phone, where there's like a uh, exhibition glass, if you will. You know, one of those perfectly clear glasses that you put over things to like, so you can see it, but not touch it. He had one of those on top of it. And this is before the back signal. This is before Batman did his shit at night. I'm not saying the comics didn't say he did it at night. I'm just saying in the TV show, he did it during the day. Anyway, moving along. When, when shit went down, Commissioner Gordon went to the glass, removed it, and dialed the number. This, of course, rang up to the, at Wayne Manor. Bruce would pick it up, and he'd answer as Batman. And he'd go take care of it. He'd, like, have a little bust of somebody, and he'd bring the head back, and there's a button, and you push the button, and the little clock goes, and he goes to the bat poles. The bat poles, oh my lord. And <laughs> a lot of people make fun of the bat poles, too. But bat poles... Pretty much, you hop on him, you slide down, you make sure you hop on the right pole because you were hopping the wrong pole, then it's Bruce Wayne in the Robin outfit, and yeah, that just didn't work so hot. Anyway, moving along, you grab the right pole, you go down, and you're magically changed into your outfit, and you're ready to go, and you're in the Batcave. Now, now that brought this up, yay, we're going to compare that, that whole spiel and thing I just threw out there, that was the first Batman movie. With the bomb, and you just can't get rid of a bomb, and you just can't... I know this seems a little bad, but fuck you. It's my rant, I could do that. <laughs> Meh. But that was the Adam West version of Batman, aka the 69 movie. We moved to 89. Now, I'm gonna take a moment, and let you consider that's my daughter laughing. Don't mind her. She's having a fun time watching some cartoons. Moving along. You're probably sitting there, and I know some of you, especially you comic comic gurus, probably noticed one thing wrong with me doing this rant about Batman in the current outfit I'm wearing. Aside being a wrong company, but I digress. Let's just go on to the 89 version, which was the Tim Burton version, which was commonly known as Michael Keaton's Batman. Now, Tim Burton's Batman slash Michael Keaton as Batman. This had his own little debate. People didn't see Michael Keaton as Batman. That's why it works so well. It's it's kind of one of those things of if you see Bruce Wayne, 
and he doesn't look like he'd be Batman, that's the point. You want it to look like that. You don't want it to be obvious. There's only one motherfucker here. That's eight foot three. Two tons of pure muscle. Hmm. I wonder if it's that eight foot three guy over there. Or if it's this three foot nothing guy over here. I wonder. <laughs> no, you don't want it that obvious. And that's what Keaton brought to it. He was obvious enough, but he was not overly obvious. Like, you had him and, Mike, and uh, Jack Nicholson on the screen together. You knew, you knew one was psychotic, but when you look at him, it's like, well, Bruce looks like a normal person compared to everyone else. He seems a little bit more of a normal person. And that's the advantage he had, which helped, which helped push along. Now, remember what I just said, that the Adam West Batman was, um, weird sounds. Remember when I brought up the fact that the Adam West was very... Oh! It's the speaker! The speaker had a weird sound going with the... So, my apologies. speaker had a weird sound. Sorry. But remember when I said the Adam West version was very PG? It was a PG style Batman. I mean, there was violence in it, but it wasn't, like, blood or anything dangerous. The Tim Burton slash Michael Keaton version of Batman was violent. They took it closer to the source. It was dark, it was gritty, and they took it closer to the source of the comic, where Batman was killing people, where he was beating the shit out of people. He did not care. You're a criminal, you paid the penalty. You got hurt bad. I don't mean he just sat there and went, oh, pfft, <coughs> yeah. And I don't, I also don't mean the pow. Zot! Karam! No, I don't mean that. I mean, he hurt people. Batman hurt people. He didn't kill them. I rephrase that. He didn't kill a lot of people, <laughs> but he hurt them. <laughs> oh, he hurt them. And the reason why I bring this up is because in the Tim Burton, Tim Burton version, that is literally what they did. They had Michael Keaton as Batman actually have a kill count on screen. He has a kill count on screen. Granted, it's not Commando, but he has a kill count. This Batman was violent. He actually took his little line shooter and shot it into people and dangled them with it. Hell, there was a scene, I think it's in the back factory. If you watch the movie, you'll see the, back, the factory scene. And there's one where... Bats sees a guy, takes a fire shooter, shoots him in the face. Literally, it goes into his, it goes into his mouth. I don't know if it's like in his throat or something, but it goes in there, and he's like dangling around. So he jerks it, the guy dangles back and forth, he hooks it on, and leaves the guy dangling there. So you got this guy. Everyone's looking up like, what the fuck? And Batman just kind of stops, looks down, and goes back to what he's doing. And people are like, the fuck? But that's the difference. That Batman is brutal, he's quick, he's to the point, he doesn't care if he hurts you. He doesn't, he, he doesn't care. Hell, even the opening scene, he doesn't care. The guy's like, it's a giant bat, they had his arms all crossed up, and it, he, he was on a gurney. He doesn't care if he's breaking people, he just wants them to stop doing crime. And the best way to do it is to hurt them. Of course, that also instilled great fear in people, because they're like, he's going to hurt break you. He's going to be like Bane in the future and break you. See, that's kind of like karma right there. It makes you wonder for a minute. Bane's like the ultimate set of karma for, like, the crooks. Yay! He went back and broke the bat! Yay! And then Nightwing came back and broke him. What the fuck? Ugh. Karma. Whatever. Uh... <laughs> If you consider it karma, I consider it story writing. But in that version, Batman killed people. Hell, Batman Returns. Same scenario. One clown showed up with a bomb. He beat, hit him, took the bomb. Ran to another guy. The guy hit him. 
Come on, hit me. Okay. Pah! That didn't hurt. Batman's like, didn't, didn't, don't care. And then he hits him again and knocks him off the thing because the camera came down just enough for you to see that he put the bomb on a human being and let it blow up off the side. He didn't care. You part of the game? There's your bomb. Get out of here. Move it on. See, he had a kill count. He didn't care. Now, if you look back to the Adam West one, he knocked him out and that was about it. That was the end of it. It was PG. Now, there's a difference between the basics. Now, we're just gonna we're gonna stop there because he's got a kill count. He's got all that and all the. Most people consider that the first Batman movie. I consider it the second because let's be honest, it's the second. <laughs> now we're gonna cut there, and we're gonna break down similarities and different. We're gonna break down differences. I would say similarities and differences, but let's just do differences because these are the bigger ones. At the end of the first Batman movie, or at the end of the first Batman movie of Tim Burton's, Batman gives the commissioner the signal, the bat signal. The flaw of this is, of course, if it's during daytime, it's kind of hard to see a signal in the light and in the clouds. It's just light into light equals I can't see shit. So this Batman fought during nighttime. Makes sense. The Adam West version of Batman had a phone. Well, if someone traces the line, they're going to find out it's Bruce Wayne. I'm just saying. At the time, it wasn't really much for line tracing, but you get the point. So, that by itself tells you. Batman fought in the day as Adam West. Batman fought at night as, you guessed it, Michael Keaton. Now, we're going to go to the next one. Their mode, the, the line, the grappling hook, the, the, the way they transverse buildings rapidly. Rapidly-ish. <laughs> That's not a real word, but I don't give a fuck. First, you got Adam West. Grip, grapple hook was the traditional. Ready, Robin? Uh, Batman? Hmm? How am I supposed to get up there? I don't get it. I, you just, you got, you got it, you just, and it's up there, and that's a very good throw, Batman, but... Holy pain in the butt, what are we doing? We are going to climb. Say what? And here they are, climbing up the rope. Of course, they climbed really slow, and again, if you see the TV show, you're like... By the time you get up there, they're gonna be out the door. Then you got the lion shooter from Michael Keaton. There's like a gun. And there he goes. So that shows you equipment did come a little ways. Um, so we got the back system, we got the back signal versus the phone, we got the types of grappling hooks, we got the level of violence, which is, of course, just knocking them out. Pow! Versus, holy crap, he shot him in the face with a spear-like item and dangled him over the freaking area. And then he went in and blew up a clown. Violet! Yes, he is. Now, the reason why I bring all this up is because I roleplayed as Batman for a little bit. Of course, it didn't last long on Facebook because I was very abusive. No, it's because I was arguing with people on these points that I did not have the Adam West Batman, I did not have the Christian Bale Batman, I had the Michael Keaton, Tim Burton style Batman, which is very violent because it's closer to the original comics where Batman was killing people, where Batman was hurting, where Batman was breaking people's limbs, and he did not give a shit. That was the version I went with. But, people love arguing, and even though I'm going to stop here just for the sake of saving time and not getting completely enraged, I just wanted to point out that Again, character translation. This this will go with character translation. Because I saw Batman as a very violent character. He's smart. He's strong. He has all this stuff. But he's also violent. 
if you get in the way, you're going to get hurt. The Adam West version was, hey, you call me, I'm like the top elite super cop. You call me, I take care of it, no problem, they're knocked out. You contact Michael Keaton Batman, you get, I get a job done, period. But you killed somebody. You broke someone's arm. That guy will never speak again because he crushed his throat. Problem is what? Oh. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I mean seriously. It's what the fuck are you thinking? But with all that said and done, I want you guys to remember... And this is a good example of character translation. This really is one of the better examples of character translation because you have the Christian Bale version, you have the Michael Keaton version, and you have the Adam West version. Now, of course, some of you are going to sit there and go, What about Val Kilmer or George Clooney? Or shut the fuck up. No, seriously. I know they're trying to say, Oh, these are parts of the same, same line. Um, okay, parts of the same line. Let, let's break this down. Batman and Batman Returns were both dark, kind of brooding versions, and Batman was trying to stay out of the limelight. You tell me Batman suddenly decided to go, hey, you know what? I want to be the spokesman of Gotham by being in every single celebrity event that there is. Oh, you got women? who are offering themselves for dates at a charity event? Well, I, Batman, shall surely be there. Because I'm Batman. No! No. 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 The, the Batman that I definitely role-played was close to the Michael Keaton one because he was brutal. It was, I don't care. There's this going on. I don't care. But you're supposed to be there as as this as Bruce, and you're supposed to do this and this. I don't care. Bear. I don't care. <laughs> At the same time, that's kind of what I liked about the Keaton version was because you could tell he's more relaxed as Batman. That's like him, and the Bruce Wayne is more of his persona in his mind. It's very uncomfortable for him to go around in social events. Even though he's supposed to be a billionaire playboy of philanthropist or whatever the fuck ever that everyone decides to use. Even though that's what he's supposed to be, he's also like a little more removed from that. And that's kind of what I liked about him is like he wasn't really there. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't exactly a people person. He was there socializing, but he wasn't sitting there going, I'm Bruce Wayne. In fact, he even avoided people, and he was like, no. <laughs> but with all that said and done, that is the major difference I see with it. And this, my friends, is a good example of character translation in a more famous tone, a uh, more famous tone in terms. Hell, even if you don't know the Adam West, I would say look, look for the Adam West shows, the old 1960s Batman. Look for those, then look for look at Keaton's, and then look at Bale's. This is three tra three directors, pretty much. Three directors. That took the concept of Batman. Okay? Each one took the concept of Batman and they put it together the way they see it. And I could go on about the Christian Bale thing and how it's all freaking terrorist this and terrorist that. But let's be honest. Some of those colonels in Batman are just terrorists. That's all they really are. I mean, Scarecrow. He's going to scare the shit out of you. Literally. That's his whole thing. I'm going to terrify the entire city. Uh, Mr. Freeze, I'm going to freeze the entire city. Poison Ivy, I'm going to destroy the entire city so Monday nature can take it back. Oh, well, well, at least she's a green villain. Yay, Mother Nature. Joker is very... Uh, Joker is pretty much a terrorist. That, that's all he is. A gangster terrorist. That, that, that's him in a nutshell. He wants to blow shit up. He doesn't care. Do, 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 do. You're dead. I mean, hell. Joker kill people just for the sake of killing people. Hey. The Killing Joke is a great example of that. Look that up. Get that comic. Read it. You'll see what I'm talking about. He shot... Everyone knows he shot Barbara. Barbara, And people are like, Oh, that's not Joker. That's not him. Bullshit. He doesn't care. 
If he's trying to prove a point, he is going to take the most direct route to make his point. Some people got upset because the Dark Knight Returns or whatever, that animated slash, well, that comic slash animated movie, because it's a comic and a movie, that showed Batman being old, and he was doing stupid shit, but he was old. I'm not saying being old is what makes you do stupid shit, it's just he, he was old, he was doing stupid shit. But he ends up killing Joker in the end. Surprise. It's... When you break stuff down like this, and you look at it, you understand more about character translation. Batman's a great example. Um, Superman, recently, pretty good example. Um, and the reason why I bring this up is because I want you to actually look out for character translations. The reimagined shit, compare them. Conan. You got the Arnold Schwarzenegger Conan, and then you got the sleeker, more agile version of Conan. I can't remember his name. Sorry. You got Arnold Schwarzenegger's Total Recall, and the... Uh, wow, that's two for two? Right off the bat? And then you got the new Total Recall that came out. Um, look for anything that's had a... that's been done, and then had a remake recently. I say recently, as in like the last 20 years. Because this will show you character translation in a nutshell. This is the greatest examples of them. So please, do it that way. I think I've covered my bases here. Have fun. Later. I got shit to drink. Shit to watch. Shit to play. And more Destiny game to get than... Ever. So. Have fun time. And remember, Batman's a violent motherfucker. Looking for shit, looking for shit, some sort of shit would be good for me. Huh? Turbo! Yeah! Fuck yeah! Got shit to, got some close girls. Decoy, you got me! Decoy! It ain't gonna hurt me at all, I'm gonna bust the ass, bust the ass, I'm gonna bust the ass, I'm gonna bust the ass. Rat tat tat oh shit! Run, 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 Alright, let's do this shit. Let's do this. Let's do this! No problem, no problem. Just burn everything away. Then go for it. No problem. No problem. Deep going destroy! Who's your daddy? It's me, Batman. What the? Worst shot ever! Put the wall in the way. Who put that there? Why? Well, that was very counterproductive, and we actually made it into the negative. Go us. Safe. There's hope. Might actually make this. I might make it through this. I might make it through this by one hit point. Oh yeah. Come on, Francis. Damn, dude. Stop shooting stuff. Well, okay. Keep you. Sh you know what? You keep shooting stuff. This is bad. Build everything. This is really bad. Be as prepared as I can be. And what the hell? Oh, no. Not a tank. Anything with a tank. Alright, alright, alright. No problem. Francis, just move down, dude. Francis, stick and move. Stick and move. Stick and move. Get, get out. Get out. Damn it. Never mind. Look, I should come and save you. No, fuck that. Fuck that. You're down there. Lip, lip, lip. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Okay, okay. Alright, get through here. Just gotta get to the safe. It's not that far, it's not that far. No, All that stress you gave me earlier in this game, you. No, 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 Dying. I do appreciate that a lot. Shit. Don't know how that works, I'm but really fuck it. Up. All right, all right, all right. Just gotta jump, jump down here. On our side of fence, and uh, of course, just like, boom right there. Get the fuck out of the safe. What? What the? Ah, oh, the Batman smoker! It's a Batman smoker! No! 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 It's right there, man. 